Hello Flappers, it's good to see you all again for another video. Now, I want to start this video off by thanking everyone who has subscribed recently and took the time to comment. The channel has really grown in just the past week and you guys are truly amazing. It really makes the effort I put into these videos worth it. And for those who are here for the first time, I hope you will find what you are looking for in this video. If not, you may leave a comment and I will do my best to help you out as there's just too much information to cram into one single video. Now today's character guide is Xiangling. With the introduction of patch 1.1, we will be getting 4 new characters, which means 4 new sets of abilities to have interactions with. Xiangling has so far been an amazing free-to-play pyro unit who fits 3 roles in the game, being main DPS, support DPS, and elemental support. Xiangling's kit has great versatility and damage potential, and with her being pyro, I'd suggest all free-to-play players build her for their team. Now do remember that there are timestamps for the video, so if you already have Xiangling built and just want to see how she will synergize with the new characters, please skip to the team build section of this video. But for others who are building her for the first time, do take your time with the video as it could be a lot to digest. But with that said, let's dive into it. Xiangling is a 4 star pyro poorm user and her normal attacks launch a 5 hit attack. Elemental skill summons a bear which breathes fire 4 times in the direction it was dropped. The skill is one of the reasons Xiangling is so versatile. Whilst the skill says that it has a 12 second CD, in actuality the bear stays on the field for 7 of those 12 seconds. Also, the skill goes on cooldown not when the bear disappears, but when it's dropped. So in reality, the skill cooldown is only 5 seconds. On top of that, there is close to no animation for using this skill, allowing for seamless character swap synergy. With Xiangling being pyro, this skill could react with electro, hydro, and cryo DPS and thus boosting overall DPS for any roster she is in. Xiangling's elemental burst is Pyronado. Xiangling spins a pyro disc around her and for each time the disc hits an enemy, the damage increases going from 72% first hit to 88% second hit and 110% final hit. This skill remains on the field even when Xiangling is not present. With Xiangling's skill and burst, she not only has short animations, but her skills leave lasting pyro elements on the map allowing for great synergy with many units in the game. With Xiangling's passive talents, Crossfire is unlocked at Ascension 1 and it increases the bear's flame range by 20%. Beware It's Hot is unlocked at Ascension 4 where after the bear disappears, it will leave behind a chili pepper and when picked up increases the damage of the character by 10% for 10 seconds. Ultimately, when cycled right, could be a permanent 10% attack boost on any character of your choice. So for Xiangling's weapon and artifact, they are categorized into two builds, the Pyro Support build and the Physical DPS build. Do keep in mind that Xiangling is not to be played for just to drop her skills and switch out. She has great damage capabilities and should remain on the field when your other characters are rotating through their skill cooldowns. With that said, for Pyro Support build, Crimson Witch 4-piece or Noblesse Oblige 4-piece is the way to go. The difference between the two sets are the elements that they facilitate. 4 set Crimson Witch really hammers home a Pyro and Electro main DPS, with a 40% damage boost to Overload and Burning, while only a 15% Vaporize and Melt damage boost. We will go more into this in the team build section of this video. 4 piece Noblesse is when your team's damage is more spread out and focused around Vaporize and Melt. For these two builds, Xiangling's 4 star weapons of choice can be the prototype Grudge. The main reason is, as I mentioned earlier, Xiangling is not a character that you use just for her skills. With Xiangling's normal attacks, she is one of the fastest attacking characters in the game, and with few ways to boost attack speed currently, this makes her normal attacks a very good source of DPS. Hence why I recommend even for her pyro support build, I suggest weaving in some auto attacks here and there where you notice downtimes in your team's other sources of damage, and, and prototype grudge is a great choice for you free to play players as you can craft it at the blacksmith. For newer players, consider picking up the 3 star weapon Halbert for a quick burst damage when using Xiangling as the support DPS. Now for artifact stats. You'd want to prioritize energy recharge over pyro damage over attack percentage and finally elemental mastery. The reason being for this build, you'd want to use your ultimate on cooldown and to maximize your elemental reactions. However, elemental mastery is not to be prioritized over attack percentage because oftentimes you will be using Xiaoling to apply the element and not to activate it. So you need the carry who is activating the elemental reaction to have some elemental mastery. I will not go over how elemental reaction works in this video. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. If there is enough demand, I can make a video going over how it works. For the physical DPS, 4-piece gladiator finale is always a great choice or we can look at a 2-piece bloodstained chivalry and 2-piece gladiator. 
For physical DPS, you need Xiangling to assume the main carry position, as you can see for these artifact sets. Either normal attacks are boosted or physical damage. This is not a set for you to just drop your bear or use your ultimate and swap out. The bear and ultimate would still be essential parts of your damage rotation, but it all comes to facilitate Xiangling's physical damage. The difference between the Gladiator 4-piece and the alternative 2-piece set is the 4-piece Gladiator buffs normal attack by 35% while Bloodstain gives the 25% physical damage. Personally, I'd say the Gladiator 4 piece is better because as Xiangling, you'd want to avoid using your charge attacks in the middle of your skill rotation. Firstly, is that you actually dash through the enemies and oftentimes you will find that using your charge attack will pull enemies away from your bear's flame range. Oftentimes, you'd not even make it to the 5th attack combo during endgame content as bosses hit quite hard, so focusing around the normal attacks is the way to go here. A great weapon to go along with the physical build is Crescent Pike. This is an amazing weapon for Shanling as you'd be getting elemental orbs constantly with how quick your skills are available. For this build, if you happen to strike gold as a free-to-play player and lucked out with a Primordial Jade Winged Spear, it would be an amazing weapon to use for Shanling as the main carry while also giving her skill damage a bump too. With that being said, this weapon is truly a luxury and is not necessary. For artifact substats, you should look for attack percentage over physical damage over crit and then crit damage in this order. Finally, let's take a look at the teams that Xiangling can be in. I truly believe Xiangling is one of, if not the most versatile character in the game. She can fit any team and every role except for the healer. With her being Pyro, oftentimes you'd have her in the elemental support role not only for her skill set but also the Pyro resonance. Team 1 is a Pyro support team. Starting with Razor or Beidou main DPS, Xiangling support DPS, Barbara healer and Bennett support with Amber substitute. This is a great free-to-play team with three of the five characters available for free. The team focuses on using Xiangling to spam out her elemental skill and burst skill, while Razor and Beidou will be constantly proccing Overload. Bennett offers a 25% Pyro Resonance and Barbara has Electro Charge and Vaporite Synergies too. Overall, a well entrusted team that can smash into late game with great utility and damage potential. Team 2 is in combination with the new characters release and is not as free to play friendly, but for those who got Child and Diona, you can run Child, Shenling, Diona, and Bennett, substituting with Amber again. This team speaks for itself, as Child being Hydro will have the amazing Vaporize reaction with Shenling. Diona's Cryo can have Melt with Xiangling and Bennett's alt buffs the whole team's burst. 25% Pyro Resonant buff as usual. Very great DPS team that goes all in on damage. Team 3 is a double Pyro DPS for those who have rerolled Diluc to start the game. Diluc main DPS with Xiangling support DPS, Barbara healer, and Fischl elemental support. This team with Fischl allows you to constantly proc overload. I have an updated Fischl guide release, so if you're curious on how to build her, you can go take a look at that video. I'll link it on the screen now. So this is when Shelling can really take advantage of the 4-piece Crimson Witch set as when you use her to proc overload, you can get the 40% damage bonus. So that's it for the Pyro support build. There's many more ways to actually build her for Pyro support, but I'm not going to dwell on it too long as I want to keep this video as short as I can. So now let's move on to the physical DPS as Shelling being the main carry. I will only provide one team as this is really just a template. With Xiangling as the main physical DPS, you will just swap out characters as you see fit with the goal of facilitating Xiangling and also creating good synergies. An example would be Xiangling as main DPS, Fischl support DPS, Diona healer, and Bennett elemental support. With Xiangling focused on being the main DPS, Fischl and Diona can actually create superconduct, which reduces enemy physical resistance by 50% giving Xiangling a huge damage boost. Also, Fischl has overload with Xiangling and Diona has melt, so this would be a well-rounded team with Xiangling as the main carry and potential for good elemental reactions if needed. Bennett as usual provides that 25% pyro resonance as well as his burst for further damage boost. As mentioned, you can slot characters in and out of this composition to fit your playstyle as Xiangling being pyro can make a lot of teams work. Of course, the weapon of choice here would also be the Crescent Pike with Primordial Jade Wing Spear if you actually have that option. And that concludes this video for free to play Shaolin guide. If this video has helped you, do leave a like and subscribe as I update all my guides when new characters are released and new items. Most people who watch my videos are not subscribed and that does kind of suck. And if you found this video helpful and want to support the channel, please subscribe and leave a like. I have recently made a Discord channel and the first 100 people to join will be able to get a special role. So click the link in the description to join before it's gone. Currently 89 spot remains. So get a move on it, quick, quick. Finally, I do want to mention that I make it a mission on this channel to answer every single comment. And I want my viewers to make it a challenge for me. So if you got questions or something to say, I'd like you to leave it down below. 
So far, I have been winning out on this challenge in all of my videos. And with that, I wish you guys a good day. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace, peace.